All right, Coach, day one in the books at the NCAA Championships. I guess the big highlight, Isaiah Moore. He ran a lifetime best in the 110 hurdles. A run for a national championship on Friday. I, I know you're proud of the progress he continues to make. Yes, we are. You know, it was an outstanding for him to advance. Second in his heat, getting one of the big automatics into the finals. And so I'm excited about that. You know, hurdling's always been something great for Carolina. He's got a good shot at, at finishing high in this, this race right now. Only one guy ran a particularly fast run, a 39, and he ran 42. So it puts him in a pretty good position to race for a championship there, and we're excited about that. Um, a little, little uh, disappointed with a few uh, uh, few performances. Uh, Tunde, you know, groin's been bothering him, and so today he just couldn't get it going. And a little bit uh, there with, uh, uh, with TT. TT uh, had a perfect heat, great lane. Just, hey, championship was tough for him. You know, and, uh, you know, indoors championship was tough on him. And this one, I think he's progressing as an athlete to learn how to compete in, in this kind of contest. You know, it's, uh, it's special to be here when people are running the fastest times ever run on this track, along with Maurice Green and stuff, to be sitting right behind you can get you a little shaky. So I can't judge him in uh, having Coleman sitting there. I thought it would not be a disadvantage, but it seemed to, seemed to get his jitters, get him a little sh shook in there, and that, that took him down time-wise. He ran a good finish to the end. 4 one a good effort, hey, but it took 38-9. You know, it took our school record to, to make the finals. Uh, and then Marcus in the decathlon looks like he's going to enter the second half of the meet in ninth place. Uh, he uh, had one PR in the five events today, but overall he was solid. He's in good position to be an All-American tomorrow. Well, yeah, he is in good position, and he's in, and he's in position to be a scoring All-American, and that's a, a, a little different, you know, being second-team All-American or being first-team All-American. So he's got a really good shot tomorrow uh, because uh, you know he throws the javelin well, and and his discus if he gets it going. And he always gonna run a, t a good 1500. So Marcus uh, is is hanging tough. He came in seated number 10. He's number nine going into the, tomorrow. So you know he's a tough competitor. He's been here before. He's managed this meet, and so we expect something good at him tomorrow. And uh, if he does his personal best, we can take we can live with it. Anytime our athletes do their personal best, tomorrow our big our big goal for the season is to. Uh, to live on our herders two days from now. I mean, on on Friday, is uh, and and Tyrone in the uh, in the high jump. You know, those are uh, two junior athletes that uh, that have the potential to go get us a, a top 25 finish. 